Hey everyone, welcome back to Scoop of the Crispy. I'm Mike, bringing you some more Final Fantasy HD Remake on the PlayStation 3. We're continuing on, we are here in the ruins. Um, we just escaped a giant monster thingamajig. And we're gonna be keeping, we're gonna be keeping going. So let's check this out. I played this game back in the day in the original, and uh, it is awesome. Highly recommended, if, especially if you're a Final Fantasy fan. Um, a lot of this, I just kind of have memories in my mind. I don't have, like, exact memories. So these- so this is like coming home again. It's like meeting an old friend that you thought was skinny, but then they turned fat, and you're like, Oh, you look different. Well, no, somebody who's fat, and then they look skinny, because- Because you're like, wow, you look a lot better. You look like there's something better. Need no, you don't. Video game characters do not need fire or food or anything. I'm gonna go save the game because when you, if you don't save it, there's gonna be a giant monster that comes out, rips your throat. Oh, you can like save a bunch of different ones. That's cool. I'll just keep overriding it until I feel like I don't want it. Oh, that's the problem. This doesn't have auto save. Oh. Okay, just so everybody knows, video games nowadays. Autosave is one of the most magical inventions ever made. Remember the remains of a campfire? Yeah, I know, light it. With with flint and tinder, you could start another fire here. Really? That's what you're going for? You're just like, hey, flint and tinder, hint, hint. Fine, I'll go off and find my flint and tinder. See if I care. <laughs> give a crap anyway. Oh. Examine. I'm examining. Why aren't you... X. I am pushing X. What is going on here? There you go. Obtained flint. Now do I have to obtain tinder? Or is that good? Oh, the, the tinder's there. Now you just gotta go use the flint on it. Okay, that makes sense. Hey, Mr. Tinder, I have some flint for you. The remains of a campfire. You see some- That is flammable. Look, it's right there. This is flammable tinder. Fine, I'll go find your precious flammable tinder. I assume it's off, um, in another room. Yeah, there you go, of course. Of course. See, look at this. This is perfect. The way the camera flows behind. It's perfect. Obtained Tinder. They should have called it Tinder. That would have been awesome. Because then it's like, hello. Hint, hint. Oh, what's up here? Hmm. Might I find a treasure chest? I thought so. Hello, Mr. High Potion. See, a lot of this game, I mean, the people look better, yeah, but they still look kind of creepy. Because they just... They, they move, I mean, he, he moves okay, but, like, they move kind of like dolls, like robots. But the, the textures in the background, that looks really nice. I mean, look at the floor. Look at the floor, you guys. Look at that. And look at me doing this. I mean, look at that. Is this, here's some tinder right here. Really? I couldn't have taken these? Are you kidding me? Alright, well, let's light it. Light the tinder. Light Okay, the, um, proximity sensor is a little bit annoying. His necklace should be falling away from his, his, from his chest. It looks like it's, like, embedded into his skin. That's fine. That's cool. I'm not, you know, I'm not picky. That fire looks good. Okay, word to the wise. Don't light a freaking fire in creepy ruins. Because then people are going to find you. Case in point. Don't fall asleep either. Because you might die. You might get killed. I'm just, I'm just saying that for your own good. Yes. I need food. Yeah. Well, guess what? You're going to pass out. See, I knew it. You don't light fires in the middle of nowhere when there's monsters around. Ugh. This always happens every time. Ow. Seriously, dude? 
Oh, you're gonna pay for that. Ow. That's it. Oh. Yeah, plenty more of that came from. Yeah, two for one deal. Oh, that's cool, that's a cool camera angle. Ow, seriously, dude? Oh, freak. I gotta use a potion. Ah, uh, I'm bleeding. Here, I need a potion. Yeah, I gotcha. Oh. Good. You deserve that. Yeah, play, you want you want to play some more? I dare ya. Oh. Oh, that's not... Oh, that's... Doesn't usually happen during a battle. What the crap? Oh, hey buddies. Um, okay. That's creepy. That's not creepy at all, is it? I know who that is. I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys, even though technically, um... You probably already know what's going on. So she's gonna come help. Ta-da! She's part of the team now. That's nice. You on my side? Cool! Thank you so much. Using grenades. Certain items like grenades have special effects when used. These items can only be used during battle by selecting the special ability use. Alright, so I will go to special. And I will select use. And I will select grenade. And I will chuck a grenade at your head. Oh, nice, dude. Yeah. Mmm. I'm gonna throw another grenade at you. There you go. Is that it? Oh. Um, go ahead and throw another grenade. Oh, I'm gonna steal. Yeah. Mmm. Steal a grenade. How... How did you steal a grenade from a monster... I don't know. Just don't ask. See, that's what RPGs are so fun about. They make no sense. I don't know how she stole a grenade from him. That's just insane. We did it. Yeah. Mm. Victory fanfare. Come on. Oh, we need more games with victory fanfares. Oh, I love it. Uh, okay. Awesome. Just like victory music playing and you get all your stats and you're like, look at all the stuff I earned. Yeah. Awesome. All right, we just met Riku for the first time and they're beating the crap out of Titus. Like, you know what? That's rude. Oh, almost forgot. What? Oh, my sphere grid. Using the sphere grid. What is that called? Sphere grid? All right, let's check this out. The sphere grid is used to develop your characters by activating nodes with spheres. Let's see how this is done. Yeah, I love the sphere grid music. Let's select the sphere grid from the main menu. The cursor appears in the selected character's current position. Use up, left, up, down, right to move the cursor. Information on upgrades is displayed at the top of the screen. This location is for defense upgrades. This one lets you learn an ability. These upgrades locations are called nodes. Characters are upgraded by activating these nodes. I'm loving this music. A character must move near a node in order to activate it. Let's go through this step by step. Step by step. Press X. The cursor returns to the character's position and list of commands appear. Select move. To display the number of steps the character can move. The number of steps the character can move is equivalent to his S level, sphere level. The sphere levels are gained by getting AP, experience points, ability points, which are obtained by participating in battles. Characters must fight battles to gain AP and obtain S level, sphere levels, which are in turn used to move around the grid. In short, if characters do not participate in battles, they will not grow stronger. In this case, Titus has four sphere levels, so he can move up to four steps. In general, you should be careful not to move too fast, as you may forget to activate nodes you pass over. So let's take one step and learn the ability Cheer. Note that you do not have to be at a node to activate it. You can do it from an adjacent node as well. By selecting a destination, yes. uh, sphere levels are spent and the character will move. Yes. When the character arrives at the destined spot, you will be asked for final confirmation. If the destination is correct, select yes. 
At this point, the movement process is complete and cannot be cancelled. If you want to activate nodes, you can pass over, you must spend sphere levels to go back. When you're retracing your steps, you can move four steps by spending one sphere level. However, going back every time is not very cost efficient. Always plan ahead to avoid wasting sphere levels. Now, since the character is in a position, let's activate the node. To activate nodes, you must use spheres. Spheres are items that can be obtained by various means, but mainly by defeating enemies. Press X, and select Use. A list of spheres is currently in stock will be displayed. Every sphere has its special function. For example, power spheres are used to activate strength, defense, and hit point nodes. Alright. Ability spheres activate ability nodes. Nodes that can be activated are the node at the character's current position, and nodes directly adjacent to it. This means nodes that are one step behind or ahead can also be activated. In this example, the only node that can be activated is an ability node, so the ability spheres can be used. When you select a sphere, the nodes can be activated by that sphere at that position are highlighted. Ability spheres have been selected here, so only the ability nodes will glow. By selecting the node you want, it will activate and the character will learn its ability. Note that one ability sphere was used during this process. Use the character's same procedure to improve the character's strength, magic, max hit point, magic points, etc. Power spheres, magic spheres, and speed spheres are needed to improve each corresponding stat. Also, every node on the grid can be activated separately by each character. This means that a character can reactivate a node already used by another character by moving to it and using the corresponding sphere. Note that locks cannot be opened at present. Another tutorial will become available once you are able to unlock them. Now that you know how to upgrade your characters, let's look at the other useful features of the sphere grid. The character's current status can be displayed by pressing triangle. Okay, triangle shows all the different stats and things. Use this information to plan how you wish to upgrade your characters. Press L1 and R1 to switch between characters. This is useful when you wish to compare the character stats or when you wish to quickly upgrade multiple characters. Press select to zoom in and out for better view of the grid. Ooh, nice, whoa. This concludes the Spherger tutorial. Try improving Titus now. Did I say that wrong again? Try improving Titus now. Sweet. Got our sphere grids. Got all sorts of goodies. That is going to do it, folks. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to keep up with all the latest videos. And leave your comments below. We'll see you next time with some more Final Fantasy X.